For me, farming should be an art. The art of understanding the forces which gives life and the art of catching these forces and, and making sure that you have in the bottle, in the, in the juice, in the wine, these forces which are there. This leads to health. You can't call you winemaker because it's much broader than what you are. I could call me a conductor of an orchestra. You know, the conductor of an orchestra is not a musician. Uh, all the musicians are put together by the conductor of the orchestra. Hello everybody, my name is Simon, we are in the center in France and I would like to introduce you today Nicolas Joly, one of the best winemakers in France and maybe all over the world. Thank you. Hello. So we are going to taste the wine. This is 2006. The name is Coulé de Serran, which has its own appellation contrôlée. We are three in France to own our appellation contrôlée with Romanet Conti and Chateau Grillet. This appellation is Coulet de Serran. It's on vine since 8th century. And uh, this is our own appellation. We are very few in France to own our own appellation controlée. It's only 7 hectares. It was planted by Cistercian monks in the 12th century. Uh, we will go here in another appellation, Savonnière. It's not south. It's east, the maturity is a bit later, so it's not as well known as this one, but it's a very good wine. So here it's full east, and uh, the proximity of the river is good, but it's not a valley. Why, in the valley we have the fog almost every morning since mid-August. It's not the same maturity and it's not really the same taste, but the farming is exactly the same, there is no chemical and uh, we use the same knowledge with uh, all the zodiac and the planets. The color is very, it's like an old gold. Good smell. This one is very mineral. Could you tell me why? Um, the first thing is the farming, the quality of a wine come for me with a farming which includes knowledge on the planet and on the zodiac. Second thing, very low yields. We have yields which are 2,000 liters by hectare, which is very low. Third thing, the right date for harvest, because when you harvest, you cut the grape. And if you cut the grape at a good date, you have the specificities of that moment, which are caught in the grape and in the wine. And little work, not, not a lot of work, not so much work in the cellar, because for me, in the cellar, the things are done. So you should have fermentation, you should have a cleaning up process by itself, by gravitation, and just the bottling. So very little in the cellar. Ça, c'est les restes des vendangeurs. Oui, c'est bon. This 
this is dynamization, it's a vortex. So the natural substance we use in biodynamics, three to hundred grams by hectare, are put here and go through one hour of dynamization. So their power is increased and this is then sprayed either on the soil or on the leaves. So uh, it depends for what we make dynamization. Another thing we have, you see is this. We use horns. Inside the horns we put cow manure or silica. We leave it underneath the earth for six months so it gets specific energies. And then we put this here and we go through a dynamization. So it's all based on natural products and through a synergy of these natural products and an organ of an animal, here it is a horn, it can be something else, we get through the synergy much more power and through the dynamization we gain again more power. So with tiny quantities, 3 grams to 100 grams by hectare, we have got big effect on the growth, on the quality of the energies which you have in the wine or in the plant and on the health of the product. So all this permit to avoid all the dangerous chemicals. You're working with no chemical uh, things inside your vineyards? We are going to implement different treatment, natural, made of plants and sometimes from animals and we implement them at the right dates, the dates where specific forces are active. No chemical? No chemicals. Okay. No chemicals. So several plants like uh, nettle, uh, yarrow, dandelion, valerian, uh, garlic, etc. And we spray the vines, we spray also the vine with milk. Uh, so Why milk? Why? Milk, milk is... Uh, Milk is slowing down the burning process from the sun if the sun is too hot. And milk is also preventing a disease called oidium, which, which is one of the main diseases of, of, that you find on vines. And so, for the garlic? The garlic is full of sulfur. And the garlic is full of fire, you could okay. say. And at time of fructification, you bring these five forces. It's very important so that the flowers get the right force before it becomes a fruit. Okay, and could you explain why the color is like an old gold? So the color is gold because we are harvesting five times. And we do not harvest when the grape is green. We only harvest when the grape is deep yellow or sometimes almost orange or chocolate. So we call it noble rot. Life on Earth is a balance between the forces which create matter and the forces which limit matter. So the selection of a good vine should be done with this knowledge. And so this is interesting. Uh, it's a bit late to see it, but you see this is less attractive. Too much forces of matter. But here you have really a good balance with the forces which stops matter. So you should always look at the energies which stop matter and the energies which create matter. This is also a balance which leads to the understanding of health. One word for this wine? One word? I would One say word. authenticity. Authenticity. Authenticity and health. And health. Yes.
Yes, certainly. Uh, so you think that the wine is good for health? This is extremely good for health because all the energies you have there are in balance. And finally, biodynamic permits to create the harmony of all the energies. And you f we feed ourselves on energies, not on matter. So when you eat something where the energies are tuned together in a nice way, you could say that you are feeding yourself with health. If you feed yourself with something where the energies have been distorted by chemicals or some engineering and things like this, then you bring, you don't eat a music. You eat notes of music which don't go well together. So I, I am looking for a musical wine. I'm looking, looking for an emotion. A true wine will always create an emotion. And uh, I'm not saying that wine with chemicals are not good. I think wine done with chemicals and technology are good, but often it is done at the expense of the emotion and for me at the expense of health. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Do you think this man is crazy? For sure he's not. He's one of the best winemakers in the world. Good wine. Bye bye.